Welcome back to the Unsealed Message channel. Attention friends, a terrifying new message is spreading fear across the Vatican and the entire church. The world we live in is about to experience a radical change. What if you knew that eight countries are on the verge of unimaginable devastation? These aren't just random countries, but nations with rich histories, deep cultures, and ancient traditions. Yet, they are now at the center of an urgent warning. The situation is grim, and the predictions are terrifying. The impact will be felt everywhere, leaving no one unaffected. But this isn't just about a natural crisis or a temporary disaster. It's something much deeper, darker, and more frightening. For some time now, messages have been circulating. The words of the Virgin Mary sent out across the world. Sadly, these warnings have often been ignored, considered unlikely or the result of human behavior. However, time is running out, and the signs of what's to come can no longer be dismissed. The devastation will not be limited to a single area. Its consequences will ripple across the planet, impacting economies, governments, and most importantly, the daily lives of millions of people. Before we continue, I ask you to comment below this video with Amen and ask the Virgin Mary for help, intercession, or grace. Then, write Amen followed by your prayer request. Please do this now. In this video, we'll dive into the details of these predictions, analyzing the messages from the Virgin Mary and exploring what can be done to soften what seems inevitable. Stay with us until the end because what you learn here may completely change your outlook on the future. Beloved children of my Immaculate Heart, I bless you for coming to the foot of the cross of my Son, the symbol of glory, peace, wisdom, and love. I know the wait feels endless, but when it's all over, many will regret not listening to the warnings. What is coming for humanity will be very intense. It won't just be a test, but a chance for people to grow spiritually if they follow God's laws. The Virgin Mary's words are a call for everyone to look at how they live and how strong their faith is. This isn't just about a global crisis, it's a call to change our ways. Many countries have moved away from their spiritual roots, bringing the world closer to danger. Different influences and beliefs have caused confusion and weakened the faith of many. People are losing their way, and it's leading to moral decline. Mary has warned about the countries that will suffer greatly if they do not turn back to God. France, Canada, Mexico, Venezuela, Ecuador, Puerto Rico, the Dominican Republic, and Haiti will face major disasters. But the warning isn't just for them. Europe is also included in her message. The Virgin Mary's warning is clear. If people don't change and return to their faith, these nations will experience great suffering. However, this message also gives hope. If people turn to God and seek His forgiveness, they can avoid or reduce the coming disasters. Now is the time for conversion and prayer. We must ask for God's mercy, and we can still change the course of events through our faith. This is a time to pray and strengthen our connection with God before it is too late. France will be devastated by a hurricane of unimaginable strength. Canada will go through a profound period of purification. Mexico, a land of deep devotion, will be rocked by a catastrophic earthquake, all because of the lack of spiritual conversion. Venezuela, already suffering from years of crisis, will face even greater tribulation. Ecuador will witness a volcanic eruption and Puerto Rico, the Dominican Republic and Haiti will be ravaged by violent storms and winds of unprecedented fury. These are times of great tribulation, but Mary's message is not only one of warning. It is also a message of hope. Divine mercy is still available for all who sincerely seek forgiveness and return to God. Prayers can have a powerful effect, lessening both the physical and spiritual impacts of the coming disasters. The Virgin Mary asks the whole world to pray for these countries, so they may find the light of conversion. Praying the rosary, attending sacraments, and living in a state of grace are spiritual defenses against the forces of evil. Every kind act, every word of comfort, 
and every gesture of love helps transform the world. The devastation threatening these eight countries is not a punishment but a divine correction. Human pride, indifference, and refusal to repent have deeply wounded the sacred heart of Jesus. However, God's mercy is infinite, and there is still hope for those who truly repent and return to his teachings. Mary calls us not to fear the future, but to prepare ourselves spiritually. This is a time to bring families together, return to daily prayer, and regularly receive the sacraments. Although the time for conversion is short, there is still the chance to find refuge in faith. As we prepare to face the trials ahead, it's crucial to remember that we are not alone. Mary walks with us, guiding and protecting us. Prayer is our strongest shield, and the rosary is our weapon against the dangers of evil. Each heartfelt prayer, each act of kindness, and each moment of love helps strengthen our faith and improve the world around us. Praying for the countries mentioned is not just a responsibility, it is a mission. Our prayers can change the course of events and ease the suffering that is to come. As we reflect on these warnings, it's important to realize that we are standing at a crossroads. The words of the Virgin Mary are not just a warning for the future, but an urgent call to conversion, prayer, and action. Yes, the future may seem uncertain, and the challenges ahead may feel overwhelming. But there is hope. God's mercy is limitless, and anyone who turns to Him with sincerity and humility will find protection and peace, even in the most violent storms. Dear Our Lady of Medjugorje, with hearts full of faith, we come before you, seeking your powerful intercession. You have appeared to guide us, to bring us closer to your Son, Jesus, and to warn us of the times we are living in. We ask for your motherly protection over us, our families, and all those we love. Help us to understand your messages and to respond with humility and trust. Guide us on the path of conversion, helping us to turn away from sin and draw closer to God. May we live with pure hearts, seeking peace, love, and forgiveness as you have asked us to do. We pray for the world, especially for the countries you have mentioned. Protect them from the disasters that have been foretold. Through your intercession, may they find strength in God's mercy and experience a true conversion. Our Lady of Medjugorje, we trust in your motherly love. Teach us to pray with sincerity and to hold on to faith even during difficult times. Lead us to your Son, Jesus, who is our refuge and strength. We entrust ourselves to you, dear Mother. Help us to always stay close to your Immaculate Heart, where we find comfort, protection, and peace. Amen.